Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to talk to you about how to palpate a blood pressure. Now this is normally uh, a little different than you would also take a blood pressure. Uh, when you also take a blood pressure, you get a top and a bottom number, a systolic and diastolic number. But this only gives you the top number. And in a noisy environment, or an environment that's moving, bouncing down the road, uh, this works great. Of course you can see, it has a gauge here. This is going to tell us what our systolic blood pressure is, meaning the top number is, when we go to palpate our blood pressure. It has Velcro. This goes around the patient's arm, um, the upper part of the arm where the bicep is, just above the elbow. Put the Velcro on. Tighten this down. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And as you pump it up, the gauge is going to go up in pressure. And then once we get to the point where I'm going to talk about, you lower it down, undo this just a little bit. You don't have to open it wide open, just start to turn it, and you can see our pressure gauge starts to fall. When you go to palpate a blood pressure, the most important thing is that you have a radial pulse. And you can feel the radial pulse if you go underneath the patient's arm here, down the thumb side, and put two fingers right there. You can feel a, little, you can feel a ridge, and you should be able to feel the patient's pulse. A common mistake people make is they try to feel a pulse with their thumb. If you do that, you're going to feel your pulse, because you have a pulse in your thumb. So two fingers here. Don't put your thumb, two fingers, and I can feel my pulse there. So if you're going to palpate a blood pressure, you have to have at least a radial pulse. Also, just to keep it information, if you have a radial pulse, that means you at least have a blood pressure of 80 systolic. So we have one hand on our radial pulse. Your other hand is on this bub, and we've got it tightened. The valve's tight here. Start pumping your blood pressure up, and at some point you're going to lose your radial pulse. Give it just a few more pumps to make sure we're well above our point that we're wanting to measure, and then lower, open this valve up just a little bit, and you're going to see the needle start to fall. You don't want to open up too much because your needle is going to just raise down like that, and you're not going to be able to tell what your blood pressure is. So slowly release the valve with our finger on our radial pulse, and we should not have a pulse, hopefully at this point for me. And then as the valve starts going down, you will regain a radial pulse. And the moment you feel the radial pulse come back in the arm, note where the needle is on our gauge here, and that is your top number. That is your systolic blood pressure. I hope this video helped you. You never know when you'll be the first responder.